Biomechanics principle number 10, one must preserve subtalar joint motion in preference to arthrodesis. One must preserve joint motion, particularly subtalar joint motion, by utilizing soft tissue releases and plications and osteotomies instead of arthrodesis. Arthrodesis results in debilitating stress transfer to adjacent joints and has a detrimental effect on further growth and development of the child's foot. Remember that the subtalar joint is the shock absorber of the foot and, in fact, of the entire low extremity. It's rare that a child will have arthritis of the subtalar joint. In most cases, the deformities of the subtalar joint are malalignment of the bones and joints, but not arthritis. So to realign them and put good articular cartilage in the proper relationships, in almost all cases, results in relief of pain and improvement in function. Obviously, if the subtalar joint deformity is associated with arthritis, degeneration of the subtalar joint articular cartilage, then arthrodesis is most appropriate to stop the pain. Fortunately, that's rarely the case.